So today uh, I'm in Chelsea, my Chelsea Harbour, and um, I've come here to look at a system that I put in about 10 years ago, um, which has got some ceiling speakers, home cinema projector. It's got a projector. Um, it's got a projector over there. You probably just can't see that's the projector lift. And then it's got a projector screen lift here that comes down. And of course, it's got a TV over there. Um, and we've got obviously old Lutron um, lighting there as well. And then we've got the old rack system here. This old system has been in there for ages. And also these boxes at the back there are, con are to control the um, motorized curtains and motorized blinds. So the system is going to be updated. Um, you know, a bit of it. So it's mainly the control. These con old control panel speaker craft ones, they're coming out. Um, it's coming out. There's also a bathroom TV. That's staying in, but it's not working. I'm not too sure why. There's a bathroom TV there. Um, this is the cabinet, which is a lift as well for this TV. This TV is supposed to go like up and down, and this sort of like closes up on it when it's in. Um, this is in the master bedroom. That's not working. Um, this is sort of like a guest room, very small. This TV there is not working for some reason. I'll be looking at that. This will be coming out and being replaced with the URC. And bedroom two, this bathroom TV not working. Don't know why. Going to look into that. Um, this control panel that's going to be changed. And again, ditto in this room. There is a motorized lift for the TV that's supposed to go inside the cabinet that's supposed to close that's not working so the main purpose of today is to really identify all the cables and um, obviously label them again because they've kind of like faded and stuff and get ready for the the new ones um, not for new cables but for the new equipment and connections so in here we've got the old iMerge that's coming out we've got a Denon DVD player that's staying in. Let's open up the cabinet. Um, we've got the old Philips Pronto processor. We've got a URC MRX10, but that's going to be changed for a 20 uh, with more outputs and more uh, processing power. Um, some of the Sonos components have been changed as well on here. And these two unit of four Arab sat, um, they're staying, they're going to be integrated. And then for the home cinema, um, this TV was changed about a year and a half ago. That would be remaining. But then in this cabinet here, we've got all these wires in a the state there. We've got a home cinema amplifier and a DVD player. So, and there's a, somebody's put a Apple TV at the bottom there. So that's going to be coming out. So basically everything bar that amplifier, that Yamaha amplifier, is going to be relocated in this rack here. And yeah, that's it. It's going to probably take me a few days to um, do everything and we'll see how it goes. I'll take a few pictures along the way. Okay. Okay, so briefly pause it there. So this is the current control panel um, for the URC that we have here. Um, and as you can see here, we've got, see the light blazing from my phone. So when you press, um, obviously, Sky, that will turn on the amplifier over there. Turn on the TV here, as you've seen, and um, it's still saying, please wait on here. And then it should automatically go to a sky uh, any few moments. If the sky box is awake, probably is not awake. That's probably one of the other complaint issues. Um, let me see what's happening again here. Um, sky one, see what's happening there. They complained that the sky box um, freezes, which is a common thing with uh, these older sky boxes. Let's see what's happening. Um, sky box. It's uh, still staying in standby for some reason. I've just turned it on manually. Let's see if anything happens there. I'm not too fussed if it doesn't come on. But also, whilst that's doing that, as you see here, it's got TV and then also something with, with the one hand projector 
So um, I set projector, and if I press, for example, sky, TV should go off, which it has done. You know, the old one. That should come down, and then this here should come down. So, as you see, down. we'll see what happens there. Yeah. And then, when I press, oops, hold on, a bit, might be easier. If I press that, turn it off, then that should take that up. So let's see what happens. Okay.